My grandparents grew up just as the era of the mass-produced car began. As kids, they played and ran freely in the streets. But when my parents were born, the automotive age was in full swing. Cities poured asphalt for zooming cars. My parents were taught to fear the street and stuck to playing on the narrow sidewalks. I am a Dutch architect and urban designer, and I spend a lot of time studying transportation and how it shapes cities. And I think life may improve for our children and for all of us because of self-driving cars. In fact, it may be a rare case of technology turning back the clock to a simpler time when it comes to our daily routines. And to me, this is a critical component of making our future cities truly smart. Aside from convenience and safety, there's a surprising benefit, benefit to automated vehicles. They free up city parking space. What can we do in the space where we currently park? Could we build playgrounds, new types of housing? What about tiny parks? Let me take a step back. A moving car at under 20 miles per hour already takes up 30 times as much space as a pedestrian. And besides needing a lane in which to move, every car needs a space to park. One study counted about 800 million parking spots in the U.S. alone. That's larger than the entire state of New Jersey and half the size of my country, the Netherlands. Some of you may remember the scene in the movie 500 Days of Summer when architect Tom brings his day to his favorite spot with the best view of L.A.'s architecture, as architects do. <laughs> But when his date points to two large buildings, Tom cringes. That's a parking lot. That's also a parking lot. Even our skyline has been invaded by parking spaces. Some people have worried that the self-driving car will lead to even more cars, since it will make trips easier. But I'm more optimistic. I believe the self-driving car can liberate a lot, specifically a parking lot. <laughs> When the car drops you off, it likely won't be parking. It will just pick up someone else, since many of us may be sharing cars. If the car parks itself at all, it may do so outside of the city, where land is cheaper. A study by the University of Texas predicts that for every self-driving car, we can take out 11 city parking spaces. The obsolete city parking lot can then be reinvented as something else. What that something else is? is in our hands. It's in your hands. Over the past two years, I've been researching the benefits for cities that focus on people and places, not just movement. This approach creates better communities, economies and environments. When parking lots are converted into places for social interaction and play, communities grow closer. For example, San Francisco has turned parking lots into tiny parks where neighbors can sit and interact with another or just with their dog. <laughs> On a larger scale, entire Dutch neighborhoods have removed curbs and parking to create shared streets. Studies prove that this has increased social interaction and children's play. And today, two million Dutch people benefit from this. Rethinking the parking lot also makes economic sense, because it can increase the value of buildings and land, as well as create jobs. For example, Some real estate developers are building parking garages with higher ceilings that can be converted to office spaces or apartments later on, like here in Cincinnati. It costs more to build it this way, but the investment will pay off in the end, like this developer found in New York. Cities, too, can benefit economically. Instead of the metered parking spaces in front of your office, there could be espresso cars in the morning, food trucks during lunchtime and grocery stands in the evening. This feeds local businesses and means more revenue for the city. And of course, there would be major environmental benefits. Let's look at L.A. One study estimated that L.A. County has about 18 million parking spots. That's as large as four San Francisco's. If we were to plant only one tree in each parking space, those 18 million trees could offset the carbon footprint of a million people. This is just the beginning. Imagine a new and better world created on city parking spaces. 
this vast empty canvas, especially if you could put all these benefits and new ideas into one multi-use site. Perpendicular parking lots could become ground floor restaurants. Inside the building are micro housing and co-working spaces. On the roof, solar panels, pools, and playgrounds. It's an architect's job to create a vision for spaces that benefit the community, businesses, and the environment. But this is not only for me to imagine. Each and every one of you can have a say. Parking spaces are one of the areas of the transportation system where local municipalities actually have control. So you too can be involved. Make sure you tell your elected officials what you'd like to see, because if we do this right, we can reclaim the street for our kids. We can make the driverless road bring us the best of the future, as well as the best of the past. Thank you.